is up everybody it's cj place here and i'm back with another sims 3 world overview and today we're going to be looking at 25 palm now i was so confused about the title of this world like i was like what does that mean but it's honestly y'all it's just these palm trees right here like it's 25 of them in a row and yeah so <laughs> anyway we have that now um i also want to just say really quick that i am sorry for last for the last world overview video i know i may have been talking a little bit faster in that video than i normally talk <laughs> but that was because i was running out of hard drive space and uh, i had to like just rush through the video i'm so sorry about that but i did clear off some things off my pc so i should have a little bit more space now so we have that but anyway y'all so this world is kind of on the big side there's a lot of empty space so it's not super like cluttered i would say like at least not out on, on the outskirts but there's a lot of stuff to look at now this world does say that it requires every expansion pack however i think this world came out in like january of 2012 so i think that was before like university and island paradise and into the future so you i don't think you'll need those packs you could like it says in the description that you need all the expansion packs so you could you couldn't i'm not sure i am seeing some ambitions and stuff like that in late night right now but uh and also pets but we'll get into that soon let's go ahead and get into it i think we'll do is we'll start down here at founders park and then we'll just work our way around so let's go down here first okay y'all so we're down here at the founders park and this is giving me world adventure vibes like the egypt egyptian vibes well i guess it's because the trees and stuff but it's really just giving me the vibe especially with that sand texture but anyway <laughs> you have this a beautiful park down here you have a fishing area places to sit down at you also have the grill and the picnic tables there are some swing sets out here as well the sandbox um more places to sit and some more grills seesaws a little playground area right here and what else do we have let's see uh there's something over here in this building i'm going to assume that it's the bathrooms but we can zoom down real quick just to see yeah so these are the bathrooms so you have like the stalls and the urinals and stuff like that so you have that this park could be just a really good place to hang out maybe get some fish maybe build some skills because you do have the chess tables or just have fun or just to come and just meet sims so you have that you know what? let's go this way and then we'll go back this way so let's go ahead next and check out the drymont lounge i think we'll check out the community lots first and then we'll check out some of the residential lots because there are a lot of those and i don't know if we'll be able to see them all today but we're gonna definitely check out the community lots so let's go down here first okay y'all so we're down here at the drymont lounge let's go ahead and scroll down to see what it looks like on the inside so let's just zoom up here real quick okay let's see so there's an elevator so when you come through the elevator you have like the little roped off area so i guess this is like you know kind of off limits kind of uh you know exclusive so when you come in though you do have this nice gorgeous bar right here you also have like a fridge and a sink so you can like get like quick meals if you want to or you could just order food from the bar you have the bowl blowing station right there the bathrooms you have places to sit down at in here very nice very red very fancy looking you have some more tables over here and then there's also i think this is a dance floor maybe well it could be a dance floor <laughs> you can make this like area into a dance floor uh, or maybe like put some more places places to sit down at and then you also have like the live band with the piano drums bass and guitar and you have that little uh aquarium uh object that i really like so you have all that in here very nice if you need just a nice place to come and, and mingle with sims you could definitely do that here and i don't know if i said this earlier but you do have the bathrooms in the corner as well all right y'all so next let's go ahead and check out this bar right here it's called rick's place so let's go ahead and check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at this bar it's called rick's place and it just reminds me of like a desert bar like i don't know this reminds me of something that you would see in like lucky palms you know <laughs> but let's go ahead and zoom down to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have those late night bars right here you also have the bathrooms over here in this corner there is a stereo there's also some arcade machines and then when you come through to this room you have places to sit down at you also have the stage with the keyboard drums guitar and the bass so you could definitely like throw like little performances here or just come here to dance um i'm pretty sure you can like dance over here somewhere i don't think there's a wall speaker in here so you may have to like add one but uh you do have like the stereo nonetheless so you have that as well there's also the dumpster in the back so you can dumpster dive if you would like to okay y'all so now let's go ahead to this side of the map let's go check out the mickey's pubs and then next we'll check out the suts a lot uh, i think it's like a laundromat so let's check out the pub first all right y'all so we're down here at this pub let's go ahead and open it up to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have a places to sit down at you also have a stage over here for your late night bands you know with the instruments you have the bar from late night so you can definitely come in here and get a drink you have shuffleboard as well there's also a foosball table and i think those are darts yeah so you have the dart the dart board over there and then you also have the bathrooms in the back let's go ahead and go upstairs and then when you go upstairs you just have these inaccessible 
accessible rooms and out here on the back you just have some more places to sit down at so you could definitely like come out here and eat or just relax there's also a dumpster on this lot as well so yeah you have this cool lot all right y'all so next let's go ahead and check out the laundromat across the street all right y'all so we're across the street and i can already see all the red washers and dryers let's go ahead and zoom down oh yeah all red in here <laughs> let's see so when you come in you have the places to sit down at you have the cabinets i guess these are like the cabinets that you can like you know fold clothes on so to speak you also have the bookshelf plenty of washers and dryers in here sinks as well and then you have like some more chairs and then just the bathroom stalls in the uh, corner over here so pretty standard it has what you need if you need a laundromat all right y'all so next let's go ahead and go up this way let's go ahead and check out this uh bar right here so it's called the end zone it sounds really familiar i don't know if this is the one from late night we can zoom down real quick just to see and then we'll also check out the cisco county fire department next okay y'all so i went ahead and zoomed down but the camera is being a little weird as you can see so we're gonna just try to look at things from like an angle hopefully y'all can still make it out so you have a bar right here that came with late night you have the tv on the wall as well there's also a stereo with places to sit down at you have the arcade machine um shuffleboard and you have the foosball table you also have the uh bathrooms over here in the corner we have the dartboards right here so you have the dartboards as well all right so now let's go ahead and and just check out this fire department all right y'all so this fire department looks pretty cool though i'm not gonna lie like i like how like narrow it is and like it has like this opening for the fire truck i think that was a really nice touch let's go ahead and zoom down to see what it looks like on the inside let's go all the way down so let's see when you come in you have the like the space for the fire truck right here there's also a office space right here you could put a computer here also to like do work or something or just you know have something fun to do at work you have the kitchen -y area with the fridge sink and the coffee machine places to sit down down, down here when you go upstairs you have the bedrooms over here so your sims can come and sleep on the job if you would like for them to you have the bathrooms as well more poles for your sims to slide on there's also uh some more stairs so let's go upstairs again so when you go upstairs you have the chest table so good skill building item right there the little living room area with the tv stereo places to sit in a bookshelf the beds over here so you have like more bedrooms if you need them and then over here in this corner you have the weight machine and the treadmill so you have all that cool stuff i don't know if there's anything else uh out side of this i don't think so so yeah you could definitely add more things outside if you would like but on its own it looks pretty cool all right y'all so let's go ahead and go across the street and let's check out the four bin project and then we'll check out the cisco county library so let's check this one out first okay y'all so this appears to just be like a construction site <laughs> nothing too uh fancy going on here you just have like a dumpster so you can come here and dumpster dive if you would like to I think i don't know i think this is just pretty much empty more like a work in progress i do see the area over here for a keystone so there could be some stuff to discuss cover down here some world adventure stuff i could be wrong can we like go down below it uh i guess there's something behind here i'm not sure but uh, i would definitely say it's worth checking out if you can but you know you just have like an empty construction lot otherwise you could definitely add more onto it and i'm guessing you will need uh university life now that i think about it since you can dumpster dive so yeah i guess you will need every expansion pack but now let's go ahead and check out the library that's like right across i mean that's like right next door to it so let's go ahead and zoom down real quick okay y'all so i went ahead and zoomed down and let's just Let's check out uh, this side first so let's see when you come inside you have the area over here with all the bookshelves so you have plenty of bookshelves in here uh, you also have some tables where you can just come and study maybe do homework or put some computers down to like you know like have things to do on the computer you also have some places to sit down at back here you have the bathrooms uh, so you know you can have you can use the bathroom there and then over here in this room you have pretty much the same exact thing just with some different furniture some actual computer desk and you also have the like areas where you're, like the couches where your sims could sit down on there's also some elevators so let's just go ahead and go upstairs real quick just to see what to see what it looks like up here so oh this is kind of nice though oh you know what i do like about this you have like different skill building rooms which i think is pretty cool so let's just check out this one first so in this one you have the art easels you also have the drafting tables so that works really well with the uh like the stylist career and stuff like that in the interior designer career so you could definitely use that for that and then in this room you have the inventing tables which works really good for like ambition type careers and stuff like that so you have like the inventing tables and the sculpting area you also have the chess tables over here so you have those for the logic skill this room appears to be just like a maybe like a boardroom or something or just another study room in the library and then over here you have the computer lab so you have the computers if you need them on this lot anyway so you have some up here you could definitely like add some downstairs if you would like to and then of course you also have some more bathrooms up here as well so this library is pretty cool y'all i don't think there's anything else in here so i mean if you need a nice library i would definitely say come to this one all right 
right y'all so we looked at these two lots now let's go ahead and just go this way really quick since this is like on the outskirts and let's just check out the sylvia styling and tattoo next all right y'all so we're down here at the salon and i am seeing a basement or something down here so we'll check that out but it looks kind of fancy on the outside not gonna lie let's go ahead and just uh zoom down so we have like some inaccessible rooms. Let's zoom down again. Okay, so, okay, so this is like the actual business. So when you come in, you have like a nice waiting room. You have like the front desk over here. You also have the bathrooms. And then in here, you have like the area where you can get like the stylist makeover and stuff like that. So you have the stylist station here. You have one over here as well. There's also a sink. Well, there's two sinks over here as well. And let's go ahead and go downstairs. I have a feeling it may be like the tattoo station maybe let's go downstairs yeah it is okay great i was i was right <laughs> so when you go downstairs you have bathrooms and then you have like another little little couch where you can like wait at but you also have two rooms for tattoos and also like two sinks so if you want to get a tattoo you could definitely come down here and get that which i think was a nice touch there's also another inaccessible room right there so you have that as well but all right y'all now let's uh you know what i almost missed this let's uh go back here real quick let's check this out this is the cow town let me see is there anything else past this no so let's check out Cowtown next. Now this looks like it's a dance uh, club or something like that. Let's check it out real quick. All right, y'all. So this lot is called Cowtown, and it looks like a barn. I see some hay out here. See some tires, some cows over here, a little stable-like area or something. Let's go ahead and just zoom down to see what it looks like on the inside. All right, let's see. So when you zoom down, I'm seeing different dance floors. I'm thinking. So I'm guessing these are like dance floors, so to speak. You have like the effect machine, so I guess you can have your Sims come and do some dances over here. You also have this pretty big stage, <laughs> so you have like the the instruments and stuff like that from the the base game and from late night you also have this big bar over here or well, two big bars over here so your sims can come and drink you have a stereo so you know music for your sims light effects over here you have the bathrooms and then there's also an upstairs so let's just go ahead and check that out real quick so when you go upstairs you have like another dance floor more places to sit down at and you also have shuffleboard and the dartboard as well so that's pretty cool i mean it's a lot of space in this lot <laughs> so if you need the space you could definitely like add more onto it you also have this nice area out here uh, so i guess maybe you can like park your horse you know if you have like pets and stuff like that so there's also like a nice little area right here where you can sit on the outsides of it so you have that and you have a dumpster so you know you have uh everything you pretty much need on this lot all right y'all so we're back over here in the town let's go ahead next and check out the church of deity and then i think we'll go next door and we'll look at stoker's place and then the main street pawn shop all right y'all so we're down here at this church and it looks pretty nice like i'm not gonna lie like i genuinely love this church <laughs> And then I do like how it has like this nice orange red tree right here out in the front. I think that looks pretty nice as, as well as the landscaping. Looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and scroll down to see what it looks like on the inside though. So when you come in, you just have like the church pews and you have a statue right here and you have like some empty rooms. So I'm guessing maybe these could be like bathrooms or something. I don't know if there's anything else above this. No. So it is missing a wedding arch. So if you would like to get married here, like your sim to get married here, you could definitely just add the wedding arch and you have a nice place to get married at. And then you, of course, outside of it, you have the parking lots and stuff like that so you could definitely like add and build more onto this if you want maybe get rid of the parking lots or something so you have lots of potential for this lot all right y'all so next let's go ahead and check out stoker's place next all right y'all so we're down here at stoker's place and i do like how it looks i like this these like walkway areas right here like little walkthrough areas like those i think that's pretty cool <laughs> but let's go ahead and open it up though so when you scroll let's scroll all the way down so is this like an apartment unit maybe i don't know anyway so when you scroll down you have like you know like little mailboxes and stuff like that uh, the little buzzer where you can bust them in and elevators and stuff like that let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have some inaccessible rooms you also have the elevators and some stairs let's go upstairs again uh more or less the same thing up here what about the top um so the same over here but oh so it's like an apartment unit eh, well, that makes sense <laughs> okay let's see so when you uh, is this like the same one i think this is all one okay so when you come in you just have like a nice living room area with the chess table you have the kitchen over here and the bookshelf more places i think this is like the kitchen table i want to say and you have the bathroom and the bedroom so it is like a one bedroom setup oh <laughs> okay y'all that was an apartment complex i clicked the wrong thing <laughs> this is a stoker's place let's check the stoker's place out okay i, I clicked the wrong thing by accident y'all my bad okay y'all <laughs> so we we're in the right place now uh i went ahead and went upstairs there was nothing in the nothing in the lobby really so i went ahead and go up and went upstairs you have the roped off area up here there's also some bathrooms back here as well which i think is pretty cool all right so when you come in you have the dance floor down here where your sims, where your sims can come and dance you have the stage 
stage with the instruments for, so you know you could do late night performances there more places to sit down at we have more places to sit down over here and there's also a stereo now there are some stairs that lead upward so let's go up here again so when you go up the stairs oh okay so you actually have the bar up here this time so you got the bar <laughs> and more places to sit down and stuff like that you can sit at the bar or sit at the tables or something so this could be like a really nice place for a date night or something like that so you definitely have that here if you need it all right y'all so now let's go ahead and go next door and let's check out the main street pawn all right y'all so i went ahead and i zoomed down you may hear some mumbling i think that's the sims in this apartment over here in these inaccessible rooms <laughs> but when you come in you have the bookshelf right here and you have like the different shelves with some look like they're artifacts or something like that from world adventures i see some egyptian artifacts uh, i see like the statue that also came with world adventures i see a skeleton down there so you have that <laughs> there's also the bathroom and the consignment register right here and you also have those chests that you can store things in that also came with world adventures oh yeah do y'all hear that that's the sims <laughs> all right let's see if we can go upstairs though because there is an elevator you can but it's just like inaccessible rooms so you really can't uh go inside much more than that all right y'all so now let's go ahead and go across the street and let's check out pets are us so i'm guessing that's a pet store and then we'll check out Teresa's rooms for rent and then let's go back over here real quick and check out Howl at the moon so let's check out the pet store first i'm guessing all right y'all so we're down here at pets are us and i do like the way it looks it's really colorful especially with all the landscaping it reminds me of like a sims 2 lot for some reason i don't know what about y'all do y'all think the same thing <laughs> but all right let's go ahead and open it up though so when you oh this is nice it kind of reminds me of that pet shop that you could get with like the sims 3 pets if you like got the limited edition or something like that but anyway <laughs> when you come in you have like the uh, like front register i guess right here i guess this is like a register it's the it's a microwave though but it's supposed to be the register <laughs> but you have that you also have like these uh areas right here where you could like put things on display right here you also have the rodent terrarium the snake terrarium and the turtle terrarium so you have those right there you also have the bird cages over here there's also like a, an ant farm right there and we have the bird tree and then you also have like the pet bed and little pet toy and you have like room and space to add more things onto this if you would like i can see this lot being really useful with the open for business mod if you want to see more about that mod i did a review on it so i'll leave a link down below if you want to check that one out but it allows you to like run businesses kind of like you could in the sims 2 but when you come through this door you have the cat tree and you also have like the litter box and well you have like two litter boxes down here actually and then when you come out in the back you just have like the pet houses right here and like the look the cat castle let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you just have these inaccessible rooms that you really can't go inside or anything like that but i think this lot is pretty cool though like i wasn't expecting a pet store in this world all right y'all so next let's go ahead and go down the street and we'll check out Teresa's rooms for rent so i'm guessing this is like a hotel maybe or something okay y'all so we're down here at Teresa's rooms for rent and this build also reminds me of the sims 2 i don't know why i, it's, I guess it's just the world <laughs> But let's go ahead and scroll down. So when you go all the way down, you have a nice waiting room with the front desk and the TV. Oh, okay, they got a nice TV in the waiting room. You also have the bathrooms back here. Let's see what else. Uh, there's like a little kitcheny area right here with the dishwasher. Let's go ahead and go upstairs though. So when you go upstairs, you have the treadmills and weight machines. You have a room right here with a bathroom, public bathrooms right here, some inaccessible rooms. Go upstairs again. So when you go upstairs, you have a bathroom at the end of the hall, some chess tables right here, more inaccessible rooms, another bathroom bathroom right here and then when you go upstairs again you pretty much just have the same thing minus the chest tables i don't think there's anything else in here no so you kind of have like a hotel that you can kind of like have your sims come and stay at which i think is pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go ahead and go back and let's check out this dance club so it's called howl at the moon so let's just check that out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at howl at the moon and y'all know i noticed these trees first like hello these trees fall vibes okay <laughs> all right let's go ahead and scroll down though we have that abandoned car out here but let's go ahead and go scroll down all right let's see so when you come inside you have bathrooms over here pl plenty of places to sit down at i see some dance floors there's also a stereo right here an effects machine and then you have the bar right here where your sims can come in order food or get a drink or something like that and plenty of bar stools it is kind of big in here so you could definitely like you know rearrange it add more onto it if you would like to there's also some parking spaces out here and uh there's also a uh dumpster out here as well so you can dumpster dive if you would like all right y'all so next let's go ahead and check out this gym it's called silver's gym and then we'll check out the desert grove park next so let's check out the gym first all right this gym is kind of nice though like i do like the big open windows i feel like that lets a lot of light into the, the build that's pretty cool <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, let's uh, scroll down though. Let's see. So when you come in, you have the bathrooms right here. There's also a uh, area over here. Oh, this is like a separate room. Okay, so you have like just a room with the weight machines and the mirrors and stuff like that. You also have the pool area right here, which looks really nice. I like the, the two colors on that. Um, Let's go ahead and go upstairs though, because there is something upstairs. Okay, so you just have the treadmills up here. So you have the plenty of treadmills and you also have the stereo. So your Sims can't come up here, dance and like, you know, get into shape that way. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, this lot is pretty nice though. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the Palm Grove Park next. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the park and I am seeing a nice fountain right here. You also have some chess tables, some park benches. You have the tossing baton game that came with ambitions down here. You have two of those actually. More places to sit down. I think this is a bathroom. Let's scroll down real quick just to see. Yeah, so it is a bathroom. So you have the public bathroom space right there. There's also some picnic tables and some grills out here. And I think think that may be it for this lot you have some more girls and stuff like that as well but i think that may be it i think this is part of the lot as well so you could definitely add more onto this maybe at like a playground or maybe some art easels or something like that but you do have this really nice uh park that are between like the two houses and i think that's pretty cool but all right let's now let's go over here and check out magpie so this is a bar and then we'll go over here and we'll check out the loading dock which is a dance club so let's check out the bar first all right y'all so we're down here at this bar and it's giving me like the southern vibe for some reason it's giving me like Appaloosa Plains. <laughs> Let's go ahead and scroll down though. So when you come in, you have the bar right here, bar stools, tables where you can sit down at. You also have some arcade machines. I see a dart board right there. There's like a little light right here where you can dance under. And you also have the stereo, shuffle board, foosball table, bathrooms back here. And you have a deck space out here. Let's just scroll up real quick. So you have like a little deck area back out here where your sims can come and eat or just sit and talk and chill. And I think that may be it. There are, there are some stairs that lead upward over here but it's just like an inaccessible room so you can't really go inside of that you do have some parking spaces out here as well but i think that's pretty much it for this lot you could definitely add more onto it if you would like but all right y'all so now let's go over here to the loading dock this is a dance club so let's go ahead and check this out real quick all right so we're at the loading dock i do like the tin like the uh like design on the outside let's go ahead and scroll down though all right so i turned on all the lights in here and i also made it brighter just so we could see but when you come in you do have the bars over here with the places to sit down the bathroom is back here more tables to sit down at and you have like a dance floor area with the stereo oh and you have like the stage where you can like come and play instruments and stuff like that so there's also a lot of space in here you could definitely add more onto it if you would like but on its own you know it has what you need and then you have like more space out here if you wanted to add something so you have that and then you also have like the three parking spaces i think that's pretty much it for this lot though all right y'all moving on i know that there are some more community lots around here somewhere let's keep going on i know there's a junkyard right here there's also a graveyard over there so let's check out the junkyard first and we'll check out the graveyard next next so this is the jack's junk so let's scroll down real quick just to see okay yeah so this is just a you know a junkyard you have like the scrap and stuff over here and oh i like this uh debug train and a uh, train track i think that's pretty nice but there's also like a little office space so let's just scroll down so you have like a bar you could definitely uh, again just add more things in here if you would like maybe a fridge or something so you can eat here you have a desk over here so you can put a computer if you would like to but otherwise i think that's pretty much it for this lot you know you will have like random stuff that will spawn here if you want or you can always just come and collect scrap metal if you need it but now let's go ahead over this way and let's check out this um graveyard so it's called cottonwood basin cemetery and then there's also another area over here it's called copperhead mine so we'll check that out next but let's check out the cemetery first so when you scroll down let's see you have the mausoleum over here so you already know you can get a part-time job here or explore the catacombs or two other mausoleum you have a lot of space to add more tombstones if you would like uh, there are some that are already here i think this world is unpopulated by the way i forgot to mention that earlier but it is unpopulated you also have a pond over here so your sims can come and fish i wonder if there's um any death fish in here i don't know maybe but yeah you have a graveyard so you definitely can like add your sims here if you need it all right so now let's go over here and check out the copperhead mine so i'm curious about this one so let's see Ooh, okay oh okay oh okay i like that little swirl down here okay let's see <laughs> um it's pretty empty down here i guess this is like where sims will come into mine at you have like a little like cart down here there's this building let's scroll down to see what's on the inside of it so let's see when you come in you have like a kitcheny area with the fridge and the countertops and the sink you have a place to sit like a table you have like a love seat and you have the bookshelf there's also like a another door that leads out here i don't think there's anything out here though um some crates i guess but let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have it's just a one bedroom setup though so you have a you have like a bed right here and then you also have the bathroom area right here in the corner so you have that so technically you could live out here if you will if you wanted to you know but all right y'all so we've seen pretty much all of the 
the community lots, I think. Yeah, I think we've seen all the community lots. Let's go ahead and check out some of the homes next. I think what we'll do is we'll start down at Elliot's house and then we'll just like skip around to some of the different some of the different homes because we won't have time to look at all of the homes today, but we'll just skip around. So let's start down here first uh, and I'll show y'all where I placed Elliot down at. All right, y'all. So I placed Elliot down in this little trailer home. And I do like how it looks like. I like these little like sections right here, like that are blocked off. I think that was pretty cool, but let's go ahead and scroll down. So when you come inside, we'll start on this side first. So when you come in, you have a bedroom over here with the dresser. You have the bathroom right here, a little kitchen -y area. And then you also have a, a living room area right here with the couch, TV and bookshelf. And then you also have Elliot. If you don't know who he is, y'all, he is my Tori God Sim. He is in most of my world overview videos. He was also in my Nightmare Legacy Challenge series. His family is actually in it now, though. He was the founder. But if you want to see that series, I'll leave it linked down below. All right, y'all. So next, let's just go ahead and just check out this house since it's like right next door to where Elliot is. So let's just go ahead and scroll down real quick. So this one has like another room. You know, so you have like a bedroom right here and a nursery, the bathroom, the kitchen area, and you have like the living room area right here with the kitchen table. So this one has a little bit more uh, like rooms and stuff like that if you need it. Let's check out this lot right here. I don't know what this is. It's classified as a house, but I'm not sure. I mean, it looks very modern. You know, I like all the windows. I don't I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a house that looks like this before in the game. Let's scroll down though. Let's see. So when you come in, you have like the two couches right here. You have the kitchen in the back, the gigantic <laughs> dining room with the stereo you also have the bathrooms back here a living room area right here with the bookshelf couch and the tv you have an empty room right here so maybe this could be like a bedroom let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have like a nursery you also have another bedroom right here and then you have a bathroom so i mean hey this house is pretty big it has a lot of nice windows i mean i say definitely check it out <laughs> all right y'all so now let's just go ahead and let's just check out maybe like these houses right here and then we'll like skip around somewhere else so let's just check out this one first all right y'all so we're down here at this house and i do like the green and like the brown kind of like uh roofing i like the way that looks let's go ahead and scroll all the way down though so when you come in you have an area where you can watch tv or just read or just talk to other sims you also have oh can we turn on all the lights turn on so when you come down the hall you have a bedroom right here you have an empty room so this could also be a bedroom the kitchen and kitchen table area the bathrooms back here let's uh see we also have like a garage right here let's scroll all the way down just so we can see so you have a garage area if you need it so you have tons of space in there but when you go upstairs you have two bedrooms on both sides and they have a bathroom so it's like a jack and jill kind of situation and you also have the balcony out here so you have tons of space to add more onto this house if you would like but on its own i mean it has what you need you know all right y'all so now let's just go ahead and go to the house that's like right next door to it now i'm not sure if this house came with the, an expansion pack or something i feel like i've seen this house before but i could be wrong but let's go ahead and just scroll down real quick to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have a bathroom right here you have a den space right here you have the kitcheny area right here this house looks really old like it's giving me like 70s vibes <laughs> but anyway you have like the sitting area with the tv and the game console you have a kit's room right here with tons of decorations you have like a kit's room right here you also have the bathroom right here and there's the garage space and then over here in this area you have another bedroom for like uh kids you have the computer desk and the chemistry table there's some more like little uh, bookshelves and stuff like that in here as well and you have the stereo you also have a nursery right here with the uh, with the ensuite bathroom it's actually like a jack and jill because this bathroom also leads into this bedroom so you have like a jack and jill situation and then when you go outside you have the picnic table grill telescope places to lounge out at you have the slip and slide and you also have the tree house right here so you have that again is this did this house come with like generations or something I could, be, I could be wrong it could be like an original house by the creator it looks nice regardless but I, i'm kind of curious about that though now let's go ahead and go to the house that's like right next door to it now this house is amazing it has that tudor style plenty of great landscaping out here let's just go ahead and scroll down though let's see so when you come in you have the living room area right here a little den area with the fireplace a desk where you can put a computer at bathroom you have the dining room right here in the kitchen you have a nice sunroom with the chest table and some plants let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs let's see uh we have a bathroom right here you have a bedroom right here another bedroom right here i guess this is like for kids or teenagers or something like that and you also have the telescope so this house is beautiful so then when you come outside you have the deck with a gazebo places to sit out at and you have the grill and you also have like a swimming pool yeah so you can come and swim out here if you want and then you also have a fountain so that's pretty cool as well and now let's just go ahead and go next door to check out this house 
because I don't think I've seen this one. So let's go ahead and just check out this one real quick. All right, let's see. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So when you come in, let's see, you have the kitchen area right here with the bar. You have a bedroom. You have the bathroom, another bedroom right here. And then you have the like living room area with the TV, couch, desk, bookshelf, and stereo, which is pretty cool. And then you also have a garage area over here. Let's scroll down real quick. So you have like an empty garage. You could definitely add more onto it if you would like. And then you have tons of space in the backyard to add more things if you wanted to, which is pretty cool. All right, y'all. So next, let's go ahead and check out this area. And then I think we'll maybe just check out this house. And maybe this one would be like the last house we look at. But let's check out this area first. I think it's a hotel or something. Let's just go ahead and scroll down. Okay, so this is like a little motel area. I like the little sound out in front. But let's uh go ahead and scroll down. I guess your Sims can live here because I see a mailbox. This area right here is like the front desk with the bathroom. And then you have another like room with the bathroom and like a sink. So I guess these are empty, but you can like add more onto it. Plenty of inaccessible rooms. Let's go upstairs. Okay, so there's nothing really else upstairs, but you can like add more onto this lot. But let's go ahead and just go behind this motel and check out this house right here. So this one is a trailer home surrounded by a fence. Let's just go ahead and scroll down real quick. Let's see. So when you come in, you have a kitchen area, living room area, bedroom. You have a bathroom and then you have like another bedroom. So it's two bedrooms and you do have like a lot of space out here to add more onto it. And you have a parking space. So you have that. And let's just check out. Um, Let's just check out this one. I think this will be the last one we look at. So let's just check out this house real quick. All right. So this house is pretty nice though. I do like the L shape let's go ahead and scroll down real quick though let's see so when you come in you have a living room area right here dining room and kitchen area big garage stereo right here nursery one bedroom right here maybe this is like for the adults and then you also have a like a room with bunk bed so maybe this is like for kids or teenagers a desk so you could put a computer there or they could just do homework and you also have a bathroom so pretty cool family house <laughs> but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below again this world is called 20 25 palm and i like the way it looks y'all i mean it's a desert world i do like looking at desert worlds this world was recommended to me by one of y'all so i just want to say thank you to the person that recommended it if you have any more world suggestions please be sure to leave them down below i will take them all into consideration at me on discord if you want to talk about the sims and also follow me on twitch because i stream from time to time but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching